Hello and welcome to the Drive on Distinted Drive. My name is Dion and I'm your host. I'm always your host if you're watching this show. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the drive home. Uh, once again, I worked overtime, so it's nighttime here in Madison, and that's a good time to be. It's a beautiful place. I really like living in Madison. It's a it's a good thing to, to have. Anyway, I'm going to kind of continue with this theme about movies, and I'll probably finish it t tomorrow because I, I have things to say about movies, and it really, this comes from working at the movie theater for almost a decade, you know, and that was at many different theaters, and... I have lots of good memories of, of those places and the things that happened there and, you know, it's just a good memory. And today I'm going to talk to you about concessions. Yeah, the concession stand. The place where you spend way too much money for things that you can buy a lot cheaper someplace else. And why it's important that you buy concessions. Now, I need to tell you before I start. I don't work in a movie theater anymore. I have no invested interest in, in promoting what I'm about to say. So that's kind of important that I let you know that ahead of time. And I'm going to talk about the economics and on how a movie theater works. And if you've worked in a movie theater, you probably know this. And you're probably going, oh yeah, yeah, Dan, I know that. But if you never worked in a movie theater, it's important that you understand this. So when you get a movie at a movie theater, especially a first run movie, most of that money goes back to the movie studio who made the movie and then they pass it on to the stars who starred in the movie, the director, the producer, all the people who uh, worked on the film. Most of that money goes back to them because they got to pay for that somehow. So first run movies, most of the time, at least when I worked in a movie theater, it was set on a percentage. So the movie theater agreed they'll, per se, they'll pay a percentage of the ticket cost back to the studio to have that movie for a certain number of weeks. And generally what happens is that percentage goes down as, uh, as the movie stays longer. So opening weekend, uh, I was told, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but at the movie theater that I worked at, when Terminator 2 came out, um, had to pay, I think it was 95% of box office revenues back to the studio. 95% of just box office revenues went back to the studio. So that paid Arnold Schwarzenegger and James Cameron and Edward Furlong and everybody who made that movie everybody who was involved in the making of that movie, as well as the, the, the promotion of the movie. That means movie posters, trailers, TV commercials, all that stuff gets paid for out of that 95% that they're taking back. That 5% that's left over, that is for the movie theater to keep for themselves, for however they're going to do, whatever they're going to do. Maintenance, uh, upkeep, uh, just being open, having the land that they're probably renting. But when it comes to concession sales, that's where movie theaters make their money. And that's the only way they make money because all that other money, the box office money, goes back someplace else. So when you're buying that $4 Coke, what you're really doing is investing in the employees that work there having a job and you're also investing in a place to go watch a movie so I encourage people to take time spend money on concessions and I'm not saying buy a whole bunch but what I would say is is if everybody in your party buys one beverage the movie theater is going to do okay and I will tell you and I, I know this is true the cost on producing a small coke as opposed to a large Coke uh, is very small, uh, the difference in, in them. And the, the cost to produce that beverage, whatever size it may be, is very small as well. I would say it probably costs maybe two or three cents for the cup, uh, not even a cent for the ice and the syrup and the water that make the soda. That is, once again, very small amount of money probably doesn't cost 
but maybe 10 cents to produce a, a beverage. Popcorn's the same thing. Popcorn itself is cheap. Most movie theaters buy a low-grade oil, uh, which tastes beautiful. Uh, when I worked in a movie theater, uh, we used coconut oil that had a dye in it. That's what makes the, the popcorn yellow. And uh, the salt, the, the creators or the or the flavor co that's the that's what makes the, the popcorn taste so good it's the combination of good corn uh, but generally they don't buy good corn they buy cheap popcorn they also buy cheap oil and they also buy um, uh, you know the salt so it doesn't cost a lot to produce a big bucket of popcorn and and then to butter it or butter flavor it because most places don't sell real butter because there's a, a rot factor to, to butter. Butter goes bad after a while. So, but all those dollars that are involved in that popcorn and soda, those go back to keeping the movie theater open. So I encourage anybody who goes to the movie theater to go watch a movie, take in your mind the, the mindset of, I'm paying for the movie and that goes back to the stars and the people who make the movie. And when I buy concessions, I'm keeping the, my movie theater open. And that's really what it comes down to as far as, as far as dollars and cents are concerned. So please, if you're going to be a movie patron, and, and I do encourage people, watch movies at the movie theater if you can. Remember that those dollars, when they go out, are, 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 are there to keep your theater around. And give you a place to go in the future. So there you go. That's my, my spiel for today. Uh, and when they offer to upsize you. Remember that you may end up paying 50 cents more for that large. But you're getting a whole lot of juice for that for that 50 cents. So there you go. I hope that you've had a good day. I had a great day at work. I, I don't know if I talk about that too often. Uh, with them offering overtime. I, I went in at 6, I'm getting off at 6, and I just had a really good day at work. I felt very productive. I had challenging uh, applications, meaning I, I do title work, so what I have to do is I basically make sure all the signatures are, are correct, I enter it into the computer, and then I send out a new title, and if there's a problem, I have to write a letter to request the parts that are missing, and it was just a, a good day doing processing of my title work. and. I felt very, very productive, and it was just awesome. And so uh, I just got to share that I had a great day at work. And that's a good thing to, to have is a, a sense of accomplishment in your in your vocation. Uh, I don't know if I'd call this a vocation, but, you know, it's what I do to earn money. So I hope that you had a good day. Uh, please remember, if you have the opportunity, share on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and especially this, this wonderful concept of just supporting your movie theater it needs to be known and you know the people who behind the counter they're they're probably getting you know slightly more than minimum wage for, for what they're doing and they don't need to hear you griping about things that aren't real like I don't want to uh, popcorn costs too much well, they, they know that they sell it so they don't need to hear you gripe about it so always always treat your uh, your concessionaires well don't forget to pick up after yourself at the movies I I I was an usher for, for, for a good chunk of the time uh, that I was working in a movie theater. And even when I was a manager, I did not have a problem getting down and ushering. So uh, give, the, give that, that usher an attaboy and, a, and, and pick your stuff up when you're done. Obviously, if you spill your stuff, leave it. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to pick up your bucket, put it in the trash can. Um, so, and it, it stills good habits in your children. That's all I got to say about that. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, and don't forget to buckle up and drive safe. And have a look at Madison.